I'm writing you this letter in what seems like a distant land. She was once called Panduranga. Panduranga is the old, the ancient name of, of the land. The Cham is um, one of the indigenous people. Their kingdom used to be really big. It's called the Kingdom of Champa. And it's one of the old uh, civilizations in Southeast Asia. In Vietnam, we didn't learn about all this history in school or, in, or from the media. We didn't know anything about the, um, uh, the relationship and the history between the majority, the Vietnamese and the Cham, about exactly how um, the Vietnamese conquer the Champa, um, all of this we, we always kind of knew, but like very vaguely. It's my third trip here. I don't get sunsick anymore, like the first time I came over a year ago. But I'm still struggling to find a way in. I decided that this, this film would be based on the format of uh, two persons writing to each other, one uh, woman um, and one man. And uh, the woman is working in the, uh, the Champa land, and the man was traveling down the Ho Chi Minh Trail. Talking Nhân about National, National Geographic. Geographic, I remember an interesting point Nhân I read in an analysis of its photos of non-Western people over the years. Họ nói it concludes rằng that those who are culturally defined as weak là kẻ yếu, women, như là children, phụ nữ, people of color, con, người nghèo, the poor, người da màu, the tribal rather than the tộc, người mù con người technology thường được chụp are more likely to be depicted kính. facing the camera, trong khi những người có quyền lực hay tinh tế hơn are to be represented with the elsewhere. Nhìn ra hướng khác. Một ngày cha đến bị khước từ. I read somewhere um, on the internet about this project that the Vietnamese government is about to do. Uh, they plan to build uh, the country's first two nuclear power plants in um, Ninh Thuận province in the south of Vietnam. To me, it's, it sounds really um, scary uh, because if something happened and you never know with nuclear power, uh, something happened, then it would be, this civilization would be finished. There was almost uh, nothing, you know, no, nothing in, in the media, uh, no discussion, um, no protest. Sometimes I lie down among all these stones. The Chambani have the tradition of burying the dead on the chest of their deceased mother. At each spot they under a pair of stones, there might be a dozen skeletons now. lying on each other's chests. I never stop feeling uncomfortable, feeling that I'm trying to represent them or trying to, um, to, speak, to speak for them. So the past few years, I think I've been pulling more away from details, from actions. actions. Human emotions, people's xúc, portraits. Chân dung con người. I've been more drawn to landscape. Perhaps my attention has been shifted from the foreground to the background. I hope it's more a sign of wisdom than of age. Đó là dấu hiệu của sự khôn ngoan chứ không phải của tuổi tác. I've been trying different ways of making portraits. Long shots. Medium shots. Close ups. Extreme close ups. Individually, in a group, without being noticed, collaboratively. 
Nhìn thẳng vào ống kính Looking into the lens Nhìn chết khỏi ống kính Looking off the lens Nhìn ra khỏi khuôn hình Looking out of the frame When you when you make portrait and when you focus on the actions, the the human emotions, um, you focus on the details and you focus kind of like a close up. When you step back uh, really far away um, and you take the picture of landscape, that is it's kind of like a two um, two extremes in working. That is very interesting in, in making work when you have to fight and you have very different uh, kind of uh, impulses uh, that, that try to grab you. Như ta đang mơ. I've been dreaming trong một bài thơ that's coming to its end. Kết thúc. <cười>